my fellow HBICs. How you doing this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? I've been sweating profusely most of the day. So most of my makeup is all melted off. So if I look like a train wreck, that's why. Okay? Looking, looking zhuzhy. Yes? Okay, I was asked to make this video. This was a video request from one of my lovely subscribers. Actually, it was my girl, Kimmy. Well, often referred to is the twin, yes. Um, she asked me to make this video and I think it's a good one. And it's, you know, living in the end or acting as if, living as if, while you are in no contact with your SV. I know, I know no contact is never a fun position to be in. Yes, trust me, I'm well aware of that. Been there, done that. Uh, I know, it's not fun. It definitely is not fun. So, let's jump right into it. Wait a minute, I almost forgot. If you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you need any help, you need any help figuring out what the F is going on in your life with your manifestations, feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. Um, I'm trying to think. Or I have my channel membership where I go live exclusively to channel members every single week, okay? So you can have a little more opportunity for one-on-one -on -one time with me during the channel membership. Sorry, my hair's bugging the hell out of me. Just gotta keep it real. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, before I get specific with when you're in no contact, I wanna say this, you know, living from the end of the wish fulfilled is always our goal when manifesting. Now, I don't mean it to say like that has to be on your mind 24 seven, but when you think of your manifestation, if you can't go all the way to the, the confident thought of it's done, I don't have anything to worry about, fuck what that 3D is doing, it's mine, right? When we have difficulty sometimes just sitting in that thought, like you feel like it's not enough, but I know because some of you explained to me that it is done is not very easy for you to go with. Okay, well then living from the end of the wish fulfilled is basically living from the aspect of already having your desire. Meaning, how would you think and feel if you were already living with your desire? So, most famous, your specific person. If you were already with your specific person in the circumstances that you choose, meaning if your desire is for the two of you to be married or living together, where would your mindset be if you were already living that desire, right? The wish fulfilled. So we come to that mindset a lot. That's the ideal. And the more often you are living that way, living in that mindset, the better off you are and the quicker that damn manifestation comes. You know what, I'm what I want to make clear though is regardless of what you're manifesting, right? This could be from any aspect, not just a specific person, but when you are living from the wish fulfilled as if you already have your desire, right? You're already with the SB, you already have the money. It's not about getting you to take fake action into the 3D right? For example, if you're trying to manifest a million dollars and, you know, truthfully in this moment, you probably got like 10 bucks in your account or something like that, right? It's not for you to go spending money like crazy in a store as if you are that millionaire. It, don't worry. We don't need to start taking action like that. It's just, okay, where would my mindset be? Where would my thoughts be? One of them would be you wouldn't be constantly checking your bank account. So from the aspect of specific person, if you are living your desired circumstance, such as being married, living together, you wouldn't have the need to continuously check their damn social media. See what I'm saying? So we don't need to take action. It's not about that. It's trusting and believing the wish fulfilled is now here with, with, within you. Yes? Do you see where I'm going with that? Do you understand? Living as if the wish has been fulfilled, as if you already have your desire. I hope that makes sense. Now, we'll get a little more specific with being in no contact. First and foremost, you probably already know I'm gonna say, stop focusing 
on not being in contact. And I know that's not hard while you were currently living that circumstance. But, but, when we continuously focus on having no contact, that is where our belief is, right? That is what is most on the mind. That is what we truly believe is our existence at, at, at this point. Meaning, I know you're experiencing it in the 3D. I know it's not easy. I know it's miserable. I know it's miserable. And I know, depending on how we got into no contact, it can be a scary position to be in. I understand that wholeheartedly. Trust me, been there, done it. I do. But the less focus we put on it, the better, right? Because right now, your 3D, please try and remember this, think of it as an illusion. The 3D is an illusion. It is previous thoughts. Think of it that way, right? It's not your facts. It's not your evidence of anything other than where your current state of being is, your current mindset. You know, right now, this is what you're trusting and believing in. I'm in no contact. We're in no contact. We're not speaking to each other. Or I'm choosing to deliberately not, you know, be in contact with this specific person. Or, you know, we haven't talked in a year. Or, you know, whatever your circumstance is, you are continuously acknowledging it. And yes, I know that's not easy. I know it's pretty hard to not realize, which is, you know, I haven't heard from so-and-so in such and such amount of days, months, whatever it is. However, it's the basic rules of manifestation. Where our focus goes is what continues to recreate. So if our focus is continuously on the no contact, that is what has to continue to manifest. So my suggestion in those moments when the reminder goes ding ding in your brain again, because I know it does, that's when I would suggest taking responsibility for the manifestation, meaning I'm not saying you need to take responsibility for what caused the no contact, even though our thoughts create and we created it, we did, we manifested it, right? It's not about being a victim in this moment, it's about taking the control back, right? Taking the control back, acknowledging, okay, I manifested this. And you know what? I manifested this because I needed a break. I needed a break to get my head on straight, to get myself back in my cocky ass mode, knowing what a powerful ass being I am. And the universe is currently working on them right now and getting them to be the version that I prefer. The version that treats me like the king and queen that I am. That's what's happening right now. So we're not in no contact. I'm just busy being a fucking queen. And he's getting his ass together being a king for me. Do whatever you gotta do to put yourself in that little cocky mindset. Because it's better to be in that trusty... Trusty. It's better to be into that trust zone that you know you're going to get your manifestation you know nothing can stop you from getting what you desire right you need to remember that your specific person your love whatever it is you're manifesting is not separate from you it's not i know that can be hard to you know really have faith in especially when you're not speaking to this specific person and they're not showing up in your reality the way you prefer they do but they are not separate from you they are within you now right now in this moment the love you desire the love man or woman whatever it is that you are desiring to be with is with inside of you in this very moment they are still connected to you they are still connected to you. So my next recommendation is to start doing inner conversations. Yes, inner conversations. Talk to them, tell them what they're thinking. Tell them how they feel about you. They're only gonna get it as a normal natural thought of theirs, their own little thought prompt. They're not gonna realize it came from you. So give it to them, remind them. Oh, you know you love me. You know you love me. You know you love me. You can't wait to talk to me. 
You want to contact me every single day? Literally, I would tell them. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. I am the best thing that ever happened to you. You will never find anyone else that loves you the way I do. It's because you love me. You know that I'm amazing. You know I'm beautiful. You know I am everything that you desire. I am the love of your life and you're the love of mine. And you know you're going to be with me forever. I am your everything. You can't get me off your mind. You will never let me go. This time spent that I manifested for you to get your act together and for me to get back into my secure, confident aunt self, this time away is only strengthening our relationship. It's only going to get better from here. We are coming back together so much stronger. You're going to be obsessed with me. I'm going to be on your mind 24-7. I already am. You dream about me. You can't help yourself. I'm fucking amazing. And you know I am. And you know as well as I do that there is no one that can make you feel the way I make you feel. There's no one that can take care of you the way I do. No one. I'm it. Go ahead and try. Go try, but you know as well as I do. You're only going to think of me. And you're only going to compare everyone to me. Because I'm amazing. So you're going to contact me every day. Oop, and you want to marry me. And you want to live with me. You don't want me to get out of your sight because you love me so much. Talk to them. Have inner conversations. Let them know what they're thinking. And I mean that. Stop centering the mind on the no contact. We don't want to make it no contact. We're making this as nothing more than I manifested a bit of time away so they can work on themselves. As the universe works on them, which is inside of me because they're always inside of me. See where I'm going with that? They are always connected. They are within us. They are us. They are us. And we already know that our desires are promised to us. So we know we're going to get them. So why waste another second worrying that you're not going to get your manifestation because that's a damn lie because it's a promise to us and it's promised so that means what it's gotta fucking happen it's gotta happen there is nothing that can stop our desires from coming to us no contact included try your best to remember that sometimes no contact is not necessarily a bad thing. Especially if you have been someone who has been unable to get your shit together. And what I mean by that is, if you are someone who was in that continuous state of chasing, chasing them, manipulating the 3D, texting them to get them to text you, doing all those chasing, needy behaviors, is that God behavior? Is that God source-like behavior? Is that what a God would do in his reality or her reality or its reality? Would a God do that? Fuck no, he wouldn't or she wouldn't or it wouldn't. No, we don't chase. We're not needy. That's all from a state of lack. So sometimes the no contact is good for just getting our heads straight back together, getting ourselves back into a stable position of remembering who we are, remembering our desires are promised to us. Nothing can stop anything from coming to us. We will always get what we want. And sometimes it's about getting back and feeling fucking cocky and confident that what's ours is ours and we're getting it. And that's it. That's it. Specific people have no free will. They are extensions of us at all times. So get back into that cocky ass mindset of you can be doing have whatever you want. There is nothing going to stop you. We are unstoppable bitches, badasses, boys, whatever. We are unstoppable. No contact doesn't mean shit. Stop 
terming it no contact. Stop thinking of it as no contact. It is not. It is time for us to get back to our normal, powerful selves as the universe, us, works on them, bringing them into the beautiful version that we desire, the perfect, wonderful partners that we desire because we're allowed to have our desires. Some of us have a hard time while in contact and getting ourselves stable. Let's be honest with each other. Sometimes we have a hard time doing that. We do. We do. We get weak. We get triggered by the 3D. And this scenario, think of it as a positive, is forcing us to get back to our cocky selves so we can get stable, get our power back, and get them to show up the way we want. And it will happen. It absolutely will. So on that note, I hope I answered that. I hope I gave you a, some good advice on how to handle that. And if not, let me just give you one more nugget as I'm dropping shit all over my car. If you ever get a moment where you feel, des you know, the desire to contact them, if you want to, do it. Don't ever let a YouTube coach kind of tell you what to do. And I mean that because even I sometimes say, don't do it. If you feel shitty, don't do it. But always remember this. It doesn't matter what you do. You can't ruin your manifestation no matter what it will come. It's you who has to believe that. So just know that if you guys are in no contact due to something that you did wrong, they did wrong, it doesn't matter. Your manifestation can still come, period. Get it out of your mind. If you think, oh, well, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's what caused the no contact. Drop that. Drop that now. Drop it now. Nothing can stop your manifestation. Nothing. Get it out of your head. Don't waste another second thinking that. And on that note, my notes are done. I gotta go because my hair is frightening. Okay? I love you all. I hope you're all doing amazing. Like I said, if you need me manifesting with Kimberly at gmail.com, be patient. I'm getting to you as fast as I can, but I'm getting to you. I am getting to you. Um, I think I'm getting something. I always think I'm forgetting something. You know this. Every video I say the same damn thing. I'll see you in a day or two. Get back to your confident, secure, cocky selves. I love you. HBICs.